the upfront, you know, yeah. taking a break from the playoffs for a minute. No, there's no break. <laughs> we came from Houston yesterday. We're going back to Houston this afternoon, and game two is tonight. So there's no actual break. There's just this and then that later on today, which I'm sure will feel like two separate days entirely. But no break. We're just pushing right through. So how crazy has it been, I mean, these playoffs? I mean, especially in the East. LeBron and these guys going down 0-2. Did you expect that? Not to the Celtics, to be completely honest, especially after Gordon Hayward went down at the start of the season. A lot of people considered them to be a, not a playoff team anymore. I still thought they would be in the playoffs. I did not think that they would be a top four seed with home court advantage in the first round. I did not think they would end up in the conference finals, but they keep winning. They somehow keep winning. I, I, I feel like I, yeah, I, I felt the presence of the, yeah. <laughs> they somehow keep winning. I, yeah. Um, <laughs> It's been unbelievable, truly a testament to, to Brad Stevens and the way that he has not just constructed that roster but helped develop that young talent. And then and then the, uh, the, the Rockets, they lost, you know, first game. What do you think is going on over there? Prior to the series, I thought it was going to be a seven-game stretch. And I thought if the Rockets could get them on the hook for seven, they'd win it at home. Being reminded of how good the Warriors actually are, um, I think was not only a wake-up call for the Rockets, it was for all of us watching and predicting as well. Unless there's a change made quickly, it looks like the Warriors could get it done quicker. So are you saying Warriors, Celtics? I think it could be, yeah. And who's winning that? Oh, the Warriors. I don't think anybody's beating the Warriors this season. I, but. I mean, that's been the case for a while, and it'll be the case for the foreseeable future, right? Yeah. So let's talk about uh, turning up front. Let's talk about some of the shows that you watch or that you're excited about. Okay, so my favorite show on all Turner properties is Impractical Jokers. I'm not kidding. I watch it constantly, and, and I was looking around to see if they were here. Like, I'm so psyched about maybe meeting them. I love Impractical Jokers. That's my favorite. We, we might need to get you a feature on there. I, yeah. I would maybe love maybe that. at a game, maybe at a game sometime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, se next season, the practice Jokers. Yeah. Let's do an NBA game. That would be awesome. Oh man, that'd be like a dream. I don't even know if it could function properly. I think I'd be like nervous. I know what's happening. And yeah, no, but it, it, it's a dream to like be in the room where they're like whispering stuff for the guy to have to do to other people who are unassuming. I want to be in the room and tell them what to do. Who would you Who would you like to prank in the NBA if you could? Oh, oh, we're talking about Shaq. I'm just waiting for you to get done. She's talking about, she's talking about pranking you in a practical joke. Oh, she could she will she never be able to prank me because I'm always watching. Oh, you want to go prank wars? Okay, it's on. Okay. This is Christian. Prank wars start now. Now? No. Starting later. We're not starting now. I'm not ready for... Well, here we go then, I guess. All right, thanks a lot, Christian. Good to see you. You too.